Welcome back. Most of the show we've talked about the furnace and how important it is to help heat the home. But there's something else that is just as important, and that's ductwork. John Von Haars of Energy Stewards International joins us. And, and John, ductwork, it, it's kind of like the arteries of a home, and that's kind of a good description, isn't it? Oh, yes. Very essential. The ductwork is very important. Uh, most people, when they think of their heating and cooling system, they identify just the equipment. But really, it's a complete system. It includes the equipment, includes the ducts, it includes the thermostats, grills, uh, grills, registers, so on and so forth. And what's really important to a homeowner is their comfort and their air quality, and that's in the room. So this has to get to the room somehow, and that's what makes the duct system so very important. And that really speaks, John, to, I mean, uh, what you say, how important it is to have properly sealed ductwork, right? Absolutely. There's going to be loss in your duct. There's just not much you can do about that. But at any point throughout the system, there's going to be a variety of joints and seams, and you're seeing some over here on this particular bend, and you see some up here. Uh, there is going to be loss in, in, throughout the duct, and there's ways to uh, reduce that loss and to maintain or improve the comfort of the air quality of the home by sealing up the ducts. And again, that's where, is that where we see the most leakage uh, on those bends, on those joints, on those 90s? Is that most common? Or? Well, really, I think any, any joint, you know, I mean, but you're going to find that because they do have turns that there's going to be, uh, there's going to be more joints in there in order to complete that turn. Did you know that in a typical house, 30% of the air moving through a duct system is lost through leaks, holes, and poor connections? Now, we were talking, John, I mean, it, it, it's really important for that homeowner to have the conversation. Yes, we see the furnace here, but to have the conversation about duct work. And to think, again, as we talk about the arteries, everything that goes into making a home comfortable, to making that energy system efficient. But you should have that, that conversation up front, right, as you're thinking about, why is this room cool or not getting as comfortable as I, as I like it? Absolutely. I think most homeowners assume that your heating and cooling system is a static piece of equipment. It is what you got. When in reality, these gentlemen are, these ladies and gentlemen, they're professionals. They design the system. They properly size it. They install it. Uh, they're, they're, this is a trade. I mean, this is a science. And if you, as a homeowner, if you do have a concern, whether it's comfort, air quality, or otherwise, uh, there's always opportunity. There's always things that you can do and highly recommend that you talk to your contractor about what those opportunities might be. Now, also, before I put in a new furnace, uh, I, I, I can test my duct work. And is that, is that part of the process as well, whether I, it's a brand new furnace or a brand new house? I test my ductwork beforehand as well? Uh, yeah, so it, certainly uh, in, in a brand new home, the ductwork is recently going to have been installed. And it's probably nowadays going to have properly be, uh, properly engineered as well. Okay, so there's a good chance that with a new home that you're going to have a very good operating system right out of the gate. Existing homes, when you look at replacements like this one here today, uh, there, the duct system may not have been sized properly. It, the quality of workmanship may not have been up to standard, but perhaps most importantly, things change over time. You know, your car never operates as well in the future as it did the day that you bought it. And that's certainly the case with the heating and cooling system as well. Perhaps if you, if you uh, are uncomfortable, maybe even touching the box doesn't do any good. You know, it's, perhaps it's all in the duct system. And that repair and that opportunity may be less expensive than having to replace your box altogether. John, where does cold air returns, how do they f fit into the, again, the whole system? So this is pr probably about balancing to make sure that uh, the airflow is evenly distributed throughout the entire living space. Um, you know, that's part of the duct system as well. Uh, you know, sizing, balancing, sealing are sort of the three, three things that we talk about today. But uh, again, a contractor will be able to identify if, if there's proper balancing throughout the home. And that's a matter of comfort. It's also a matter of where your thermostat sits. You know, if your thermostat's in a cold area of the home during the winter time, it's going to be uh, asking your furnace to run uh, harder than it really needs to. Now, is that something that a homeowner can, can do him or herself, or do we need to rely on, on the professionals for that? Uh, certainly the professionals. Highly recommend the professionals. It's, it's definitely a science. There's a real skill to the heating and cooling business whether that's the equipment, the duct system, or otherwise. Well, John, a lot of great information. Appreciate you sharing that with us. If you'd like more information to learn about your heating system, furnace, and ductwork, go to our website at powerhousetv.com for more great energy-saving ideas.